tissue culture, and preparation of lysates. The first thing is to clean your gloved hands, the inside of the culture hood, and all instruments with an antiseptic. We use 70% ethanol. While the antiseptic is doing its work, we can heat up our media. The media needs to warm up to 37 degrees Celsius. We let the media come up to the appropriate temperature, which usually takes about 15 minutes. One optional aseptic measure is to turn on the UV lamp while the media is warming up. Once the media is warm, dry and spray it with 70% ethanol. Make sure to spray the underside of the loosened cap. Place it inside the hood and add appropriate supplements to condition the media. When inserting the pipette into flasks or bottles, make sure the pipette tip only touches the inside area. If it touches the outside area, discard it and use a new pipette. Next, take out your culture flask and screw the cap tight while transporting it over to the microscope. Also make sure the flask is kept horizontal. Look at the cells through the microscope to gauge the density of the cell population. Transfer the flask to the center of the culture hood and move instruments and media to the lateral ends, allowing for unobstructed laminar flow. Next, aspirate the media from the flask. After aspirating the old media, add a small amount for trypsin. Place the flask back into the incubator. This causes the cells to lose adherence to the culture flask. After two to three minutes, take the flask from the incubator and rock the flask back and forth. It's sometimes possible to see the cells dislodge with the naked eye. Otherwise, place the flask back under the microscope. If cells remain adherent, it might be necessary to forcefully dislodge them by hitting the outside of the flask. Once dislodged, resuspend cells with additional media and transfer the cell suspension into a new 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. Take the hemocytometer and place a glass cover slip over it. Take a small portion of the cell suspension, 10 microliters, and insert it into the groove that will spread the cells across the hemocytometer. The hemocytometer displays a grid when viewed under the microscope and allows us to count the approximate number of cells in the suspension. After the cell count, pellet the cells down to the bottom of the tube by centrifugation. Make sure to balance the centrifuge. The usual rotational velocity is in the range of 500 to 1000 RPM and lasts for 5 minutes. Based on the perceived density and hemocytometer count of the cells, a fraction of the cells are dispensed back into the flask. Once dispensed, fresh media is added to the culture flask and placed back into the incubator. Make sure that the incubator temperature and percentage of CO2 is set correctly, normally 370 and 5%, and that the door is shut properly. The most important thing is to clean up after. Preparation of cell lysates. Set up your instruments and buffers. Make a lysis buffer and PBS and place it on ice. Take a cell culture plate from the incubator and set it on the bench top. Use a cell scraper to remove adhering cells from the plate. Pipette the cell suspension, rinse the plate a couple of times, and transfer it to 15 milliliter centrifuge tubes. Spin the tubes in the centrifuge at 1000 RPM for 5 minutes. Once centrifugation is complete, aspirate off the media, leaving the pellet at the bottom untouched. Add ice-cold PBS to the pellet. Pipette up and down once and transfer it to 1.5 milliliter tubes. Place the small spin tubes into the micro centrifuge and spin them at 12,000 RPM for one minute. 
Once complete, place the tubes directly on ice. Aspirate the supernatant and add 350 milliliters of lysis buffer and completely resuspend the pellet by pipetting up and down three to four times. Rotate the tubes at four degrees Celsius for 30 minutes.